morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video, welcome to my channel. Before the video starts, disclaimer. This is not a pay review, no one pay me. I, in fact, I'm just buying the product to use it myself because I like this kind of, I want this kind of products for so long. On FDM, flexible bag already, it's so famous. And on resin printer, I think about so long and finally, finally I saw my MEM system come out and one month ago I already ordered uh, because of the things back order so take time finally arrived last weekend and I attach it on my printer wait for the glue dry this and that and now I come up a very short video in the next few seconds let's get started this is my second WMM system and the flexible magnetic steel sheet to attach on this resin printer bed this resin printer is a soft frozen stuffer XL. This is a eight inch skies on the screen, so you can see that it's actually larger than normal. Um, okay, this steel blade will be attached on, and with the screw glue or no or sticker, uh, that should call sticker. So using this the sand sandpaper to scratch it a little bit and make the bone easier to attach on the surface. After one day of the glue drying and then start and want some sample print and so first thing I print this few mini panty on the bed, straight on the bed and also some models with support without support. Uh, the, um, there is some character among us. The game is famous I think because but I don't play because I can't really see the colors. Very hard for me to tell the difference between who is the killer. Well. Never mind that the right side is there got two keycap. Yeah, currently I play with some keycap thing, the button keycap. Well, but the, the main point is the, the steel blade, right? You see that I attach it on very nice until I flex it a little bit and the thing is still, well, still connect, stick, it's just smooth freely. Of course, it got some suction effect because uh, the two bigger models they got some resin remaining inside inside got empty hole i just try out whether it can print up but print successfully for small models full attach on that's attached very well, really well and easier easy to remove if without this steel braid normally we will need to use the cutter to cut it out so they got a risk to hurt my hand and also scratch the back printing bed and now this one is just pop up right pop right off yeah, very easy to remove. If I if, if you have uh, two flexible bed, you can just attach another one to start print straight away. Uh, but I only get one, but I, because I think one is enough to me. Just if I really want to clean up, it can be faster. But I want to check out every piece. There's no problem. But it looks really fine. What I do is just attach it back with the magnet and align correctly. Then I can start the next print. Uh, I would suggest the lock the screw before it in case it falls out and I think this thing is good and every single resin printer should come with it okay the video up to here what is the next thing you want me to print on this flexible bed let me know in the comment and if you think this video interesting or you have you like it you just give me a thumb up and share with your friend if they're using resin printers I think it's helpful Okay, that's it. That's it today. See you next video. Remember, leave me a comment if you want to see anything I print on this flexible pad resin.